master today. Power on power, surely thine. Touch me and heal me, Savior divine. Have thine own way. Absolute sway, fill with thy spirit, till all shall see Christ only always leading me. Yes, Lord, have your own way, have your own way in our lives. So that we can be who you want us to be. Um, my next song is going to be the theme song that I use each morning. Open my eyes that I may see. Man, I love that song so dearly, so very much. And I mean every word of the song that I sing under the inspiration of God. I, mean, I need God to open my eyes, my hair, my mouth, my mind, everything. All right, so I'm getting ready right now to sing that song and then to proceed in the reading. It's song number 326 from the Adventist Church Hymnal, song 623 from the Church Hymnal. Open my eyes. Savior divine. <coughs> All right. Open mine eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hand the wonderful key that would unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee, ready my God thy will to see. Open mine eyes, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open mine hair that I may hear. Voices of truth thou sendest clear, and while the wave not fall on my hair, everything falls will disappear. Silently now I wait for thee, ready my God thy will to see. Open mine hair, illumine me, speak, read divine. Open my mouth and let me bear gladly the warmth through everywhere. Open my heart and let me prepare. Love with thy children thus to share. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will to see. Open mine heart, illumine me. Speak, read divine. Yes, hope in mine eyes that I might see, hope in my hair that I might hear, hope in my mouth and let me bear. Wonderful words, wonderful words. And uh, again, the, uh, the scriptural allusion, uh, scriptural connotation that comes from that is from the book of Psalms 1, 19, verse 10. With my whole heart have I sought thee whole, let me not wander. From thy commandments, 
And Matthew chapter 13 verse um, 9 says, Who has hair to hear, let him hear. Uh, Psalm 81 verse 10, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. These three um, passages of scripture led the heart of the song to have written that song. And I tell you, it's an amazing song, you know. Open mine eyes and that I may see. Open my ear that I may hear. Open my mouth that I may bear. Today, day 31, abiding in Christ and service. Abiding in Christ and service. The Lord, breathe upon us one more time the aroma of your spirit. Teach us your will and your way and help us to proclaim your truth, your word in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. So today, day, day number 31, and the topic for today being day number 31 is abide, abiding in Christ and service. Service for the Lord can become a heavy burden at times. Filled with anxiety and stress, before the Christian comes to understand and experience true abiding in Christ and is abiding in Him, however, once the mystery of the union with Christ is experienced, everything changes. Service for the Master is a joy, and the stress and burdens are relieved. Ellen G. White write, uh, wrote of the great peace Jesus had when he ministered on earth describing his response during the storm that threatened his disciples and him she wrote when jesus was awakened to meet the storm he was in perfect peace there was no trace of fear in word or look for no fear was in his heart but he rested not in the position of almighty power it was not as the master of the earth and sea and sky that he responded in quiet that power he had laid down and he said I can of mine own self do nothing John 5 verse 30 he trusted in the father's might it was in faith Faith in God's love and care that Jesus rested, and the power of that word which still the storm was the power of God. The Desire of Ages, page 336. She goes on to challenge us to trust our Lord in the same manner. As Jesus rested by faith in the faith in the Father's care, so we are to rest in the care of our Savior. If the disciples had trusted in him, they would have been kept in peace. Their fear in the time of danger revealed their unbelief. In their effort to save themselves, they forgot Jesus, and it was only when, in despair of self-dependence, they turned to him that he could give them help. How often the disciples' experience is ours when the tempest of temptation gather and the fierce lightning flash and the waves sweep over us. We battle with the storm alone, forgetting that there is one who can help us. We trust in our own strength till our hope is lost and we are ready to perish. Mercy. Then we remember Jesus, and if we call upon him to, to save us, we shall not cry in vain. Whether on the land or on the sea, if we have the Savior in our hearts, there is no need to fear. Living faith in the Redeemer will smooth the sea of life and will deliver us from danger in the way that he knows. To be best, I bid. When we are truly experiencing abiding in Christ and 
He abiding in us. His presence is a reality. Our resting in Him will then become real, not just a theory, and it will be consistent. All fear, worry, stress, in, 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 in service or life will be gone. The burdens of ministry will be lifted. Replaced with our resting in Jesus' presence. As Ellen White uh, says, we must despair of self-dependency and turn to Jesus. All fear, worry, and stress in service or life will be gone. When we are abiding in Christ, we will have the relationship with him that he had with his Father, which enabled him to rest in the assurance that the Father would speak and minister through him. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doth the work. John chapter 14, verse 10. Yes, this is very inspiring, very short to the point, you know. I just want to read a few paragraphs again. It says, When Jesus was awakened to meet the storm, he was in perfect peace. How do we awake to meet our storm? Do we remain in perfect peace? Do we keep calm in the midst of our storm? There was no trace of fear in his word or look, for no fear was in his heart. How much time do we allow fear to, to domineer and to control our life? But with Jesus, he had no fear in him. All right? But he rested not. And bear this. I want you to take note of this. That Jesus never rested in the position of the almighty power. No. It was not as the master of earth and sea and sky that he reposed in quiet. That power he had laid down. And he said, I can of my own self do nothing. John 5 verse 30, he trusted in the Father's might. It was in faith, faith in God's love and care, that Jesus rested and the power of that word which still the storm was the power of God. So Jesus, when he was on earth, he didn't have any supernatural power that he laid down. Right? He came directly as a man. Right? The only thing is that he never sinned. He was in all point tempted and tested as we are, but without sin. He never used any supernatural power. Because that would have been so unfair. But he trusted in his Father all the time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I'm going to break here just um, reviewing, just reviewing the the topic um, uh, personal reflection and discussion if you are fearful or overstressed in your service for God what does that indicate about you if you are fearful and overstressed in your service for the Lord what does that indicate about you All right was it unreasonable for the disciple to be fearful when they were in the boat in the storm why or why not how do you um, usually react when trials, temptation, and difficulties come into your life? How does God want you to react in difficult and trying situations? And finally, how do you plan to apply the lesson of this devotional study to your life this week? For activity, call your prayer partner and discuss the devotional with him or her. Pray with your partner, a prayer partner, for God to continue to baptize each of you with the Holy Spirit, or for God to bring revival into your life and his church, for God to remind you to look to Jesus and to trust him when the next opportunity comes to serve Christ or a trial come into your life. 
and pray for individual on your prayer list including your uh, the following bible verse in your prayer oh taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the man that trusted in him trusted in him psalm 34 verse 8 call us to trust in you lord and not in earthly things and then bless us abundantly father we thank you this morning again for this great reading Oh, Father, teaching us how to abide in Christ and service. We, per we pray that you will be with us, be with our prayer partners, be with the requests they have at hand. Pray that you will bless each and every family, dear Lord, even on this, um, this group. We pray, Father God, that you will help us to come uh, at the, uh, uh, the height in our experience when we can just learn to trust you, that we will... Um, not of any fear but perfect love that we have with you will cast out our fears hear our prayer this morning Lord grant us the peace so that we can minister to those who are in need help us to be able to uh, be closer drawn to you each day each step of the way forgive us of our sins cleanse us from all unrighteousness and Lord, save us in your glorious kingdom, we pray. Dear Father, help us to taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that put it, his trust in him. All right, I say, God bless you. Have a great and wonderful day. Walk with God and let him walk with you. Be blessed and be a blessing. Have a great and wonderful day in Jesus. Amen. 532. Alright, 532. He wants me to sing 532. Let's see what that is. Saying. Okay. 532. Day by day, and with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trial here. Trusting in His Father's wise bestowment, have no need for worry or for fear. He who died is kind beyond all measure. Jesus knows you are living well. Mm -hmm. Give me, give me a minute for that song here. I just ended my devotion, so give me a minute while I look up that song and try to get a little musical background. If not, I have to do it solo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Amen. Say the need of a sweet, thy tender skin. In thy present past the feed us, for our use thy faults repair. Okay, I am going to sing a uh, song number 545. Savior like a shepherd lead us. As we go through this day, we pray that God will lead us and that we will follow his leading, follow his bidding, and that we will be uh, true to him. And as we hear his voice, because he said, my sheep hear my voice and a stranger's voice they don't know. So may God teach us how to know him. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tender care. In thy pleasant past to feed us. For all use thy fault repair. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus. Thou was born us, thine we are. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, Thou was born us, Thine we are. We are Thine, do Thou befriend us, Be the God in our way. Keep Thy flock from sin, defend us, Seek us when we go astray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear, hear us when we pray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear, hear us when we pray. Thou hast promised to receive us, poor and sinful though we be. Thou hast mercy to relieve us, grace to cleanse and power to free. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, we will early turn to Thee. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, we will early turn to Thee. May God help us as we seek him each day as we 